Welcome back to Bay Area Focus. Author Pamela Tate Roger and coach Rochelle Henley come with a bold message. Girls can play baseball. They'll share how young women are getting into the sport. We like that here. <laughs> they can play, right? Yes. Usually girls will play softball, but you're saying no, they can play baseball. Most definitely. Um, my daughter Leah play, has played baseball since she was six mm -hmm. and she played with her older brother. He's only 18 months older than her. Um, she loves the game of baseball and got through to middle school and at that time there was no baseball team for her to play on. Um, so it she played softball. Boys. Exactly. So she played softball um, and didn't really like it. And so seventh grade year she decided that she wanted to play baseball and decided to try out for the boys baseball team. What didn't she like about softball? The game is actually really different. Mm -hmm. um, the game is a little slower. The balls are bigger. They say it's a softball. It's not necessarily a softball. It's just a bigger ball. Um, and it has different rules than baseball. You can't um, throw out as a pitcher, excuse me, as the catcher. You don't get to tag people out. It just has some different intricacies than it does for baseball. And, and so she played with the boys. She played with the boys. And what did that do for her? I think it really increased her confidence. Um, she was a little insecure at first playing with boys and then the boys kind of banded around her and would protect her when other boys would you know try and say mean things or do things to her and try and get her out with opposite teams. Um, I think it really has developed her own sense of self and her confidence levels have definitely increased as a result of that. Was it hard for the boys on the team to accept her? Initially, yes. Um, she's played multiple teams. Um, she's played with rec and park teams. She's played with the Junior Giants and she's also done the USF um, Junior Dons Academy. Um, the most nurturing group I feel has been the University of San Francisco Junior Dons. Um, they really encouraged girls to be, be girls, but you know, if they love the game, to really just charge forward with that. And you actually wrote a book about all of this. I did, I did. It's called A Girl's Journey, There's No Crying in Baseball. There's no crying in baseball. Well, Rochelle, you know all about this. You've been playing baseball for a very long time, and you've been coaching for more than 20 years. Yes, <clears throat> excuse me. We have um, I, a dream, I lived a dream, and I always told my grandparents and my parents that I always wanted to play baseball and I would go to the Giants games at Candlestick Park and I'd say I want to be there I want to be there and I got to live my dream I got to play at Candlestick Park and now now that I live my dream I would like these girls to live their dream. When you were younger uh, and you were telling your parents or your grandparents this what was their reaction what did they say to you? <clears throat> totally supportive they backed me 100 percent yes you can do it absolutely I can't wait for you to do this and it was nothing but um, accolades and I was pretty good. So although maybe not necessarily, um, you know, I, I developed my, um, my skills over the years. Sure. So they, they saw that and saw how much time and effort I put into the sport. Pamela said that it was a little hard for the boys on the team, on her daughter's team <clears> to accept <throat> her. Was it hard for people to accept you in baseball? I don't think so. I never got that reaction from them. Um, there might have been one boy on a specific team that didn't really want to have it. But other than that, I mean, when you're pretty good, they want you on your team. No matter if you're no a boy matter, or a girl. Exactly. And if, they, if it helps them win, then I think it's all good. There's no crying in baseball, of course. We know that famous line from A League of Their Own. Yeah, yeah. did that inspire you? It really did. Um, we kind of have a house joke, it's a running joke, um, when things would get tough and Leah would um, kind of decide like, oh, I'm having a rough day or I had a hard practice or, you know, opposing teams would not necessarily be kind or be shocked that she was a girl and kind of dig at her. She would um, kind of, you know, buckle up and be ready to tear up and you'd see it and, and we'd just kind of look at her and her older brother would just go, you know what, there's no crying in baseball. It was a joke, but you know, he'd go in for it. But there is crying in baseball because... Yeah, this year they lost the championship. They won in her seventh grade year, but this year they lost. And um, out of all the boys on the team, all of them shed tears, but my daughter did not. She said, I did my best and I left it all on the field, so. She was the only one yeah. who didn't cry. <laughs> and it's okay if she did exactly. as well, right? Exactly. Well, we were just uh, watching some video of some of the practice. I and mean, what does it do for the girls out there who are 
who are on these teams playing? Well, I think it's really exciting. We're gearing up to go to Florida in the very first girls baseball national. Over the years, it's always been softball, but this is the very first time that it's a girls baseball national. So we are fundraising and trying to gather some more monies for this endeavor, but the girls are having a great time really bonding together and they have a common goal where they love baseball and they don't want to do anything else. And um, they're working really hard to get ready for this national. Okay, well, we'll ho we hope you reach your fundraising goal and get you out there. And to buy a copy of A Girl's Journey, just log on to PamelaTateRoger.com. Again, that's PamelaTateRoger.com. Coming up, how the Oakland Youth Chorus gives young people a creative outlet. We'll be right back.